up next, guys, potentially life-saving information for any woman considering breast implants. You're going to hear that coming up next. The FDA proposing makers of breast implants add a warning to the box, telling women they could be at risk of complications like fatigue, joint pain, and even a type of cancer. Adding that the risk of these complications increase the longer they have the implants, which are not lifetime devices. Mm -hmm. All right, so you've been hearing a lot about breast implants in the news lately after the FDA just recommended its strongest warning against breast implants. Yeah, so joining us now is renowned plastic surgeon, Dr. Roddy Braban. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Thanks for having me. So I just, there was a little graphic there that yeah. said it's not a lifetime investment. So I heard you, do you have to... Uh, switch or, or, or get new implants every decade or so? Yeah, so the truth is like any other device, like light bulbs, tires, and I don't mean to be coy, they're devices and they have a longevity and they're mechanical and they run the risk of breaking or rupturing. And so it's advisable to change them out before you have any issues with them rupturing. So there's no exact science, but we suggest every 10 to 15 years, assuming let's say you're happy and everything is great, right. it's a very small surgery, you make a small opening, you take the implants out, you take a new one, you put it in, and off you go. So way easier than if you have an issue with it after the fact. Wow. What's going on now with this study that have people causing concern? So listen, I think it's, I, I think while it's really good that we're talking about it, I think one of the reasons why it's important that we have this conversation is there's a lot of patients that are alarmed. You know, you can imagine you're a woman, you have these breast implants, you're, you're, you're fine, and all of a sudden you're watching the news and you're like, FDA, cancer, this, that, and yeah. then you start panicking. We're getting a lot of phone calls. So we want to make sure that people are educated about what's going on regarding the breast implants and these warnings, okay? So the first thing is there was a black box warning. And the black box warning basically means that the FDA is stating to some degree what we already knew, which is implants are not forever, and implants like any other, like mesh, a valve, whatever, have issues. And with the exception of one thing we'll talk about, nothing really new has changed. It's just that, you know, patients need to be more aware that implants are, as you had said, not forever. That, well, that's, yeah, because I think that's uh, uh, surprising to a lot of people that may not be familiar. And there's also different types of implants. You have your smooth and a textured. Right. Why so, would one want to um, have a smooth as opposed to a right. textured? So I think it's really important we talk about this. So what recently happened, which I think what the question is, well, why all of a sudden all this changed? What triggered this was the FDA and the implant manufacturers recently removed a particular implant off the market. That implant was textured. Textured referring to what? The outside of these implants, right? Mm -hmm. Both these implants are gel. This one is smooth. This one is textured like Velcro. And so the texturing, what it was designed for, was to allow this implant to stick and not move. Mm. And when you have an implant, say, for example, in this, in this instance that's shaped, shaped meaning it looks like a teardrop, you don't right. want it rotating. Well, there's an incredibly rare but real type of cancer called ALCL, large cell, anapla uh, anaplastic large cell lymphoma, which all you need to know is it's a cancer. And I think it's affected 600 people in the world thus far in 20 some odd years. So it's mm. very rare, very rare, but very real. And it's a cancer of the shell of the scar tissue you make. So it's very important to understand it's not breast cancer. Got it. And it's curative it. and you can remove it. So they remove those textured implants off the market. Got it. So, but, but doctor, like, quickly, what should people be most concerned about or should take into account if they're considering getting implants? So I think first thing, number one more most important thing, you gotta talk to your doctor. So I think the black box warning was kind of like to reiterate what's been happening with plastic surgery, it's become really sort of cavalier. And so we need to slow it down and go back to the, to, the, to the basics, which is you sit with your doctor and you and your doctor need to talk. I don't think anything with the exception of this ALCL has changed. Hmm. I just think that what happened is that you go and you talk to your doctor and you just leave all of a sudden and think, well, this is great, I'm gonna be wonderful. I spent an hour with you talking to you. So we're talking about bleeding and infections and scars and this and that, the other. And so the black box warning is both for the patients but also for the doctors, which is, Go back to the basics and talk about swelling and all those other things. So I think that's important. don't panic, Dr. Bonabadi out there. Just ask the proper questions. Got it. I, I think it's doctor. super important that if you have a breast implant and you're happy and nothing's wrong, I certainly would not run in, nor does the FDA recommend that you have them removed. Thank, Thank you, you, doctor. Thank we'll you. be right back after these messages from your local station. Woo!